Hello and welcome to Big Orbit Cards unboxing video of the new Cardfight Vanguard Clan Booster supply set. Now this is a very limited supply set. This is c coming a bit later than its actual release date. But it is very hard to get hold of. So, But we've managed to get one to open up for you guys. So I will be doing the unboxing today and my name is James. So first of all, you get this huge box. It's really nice you can fit loads of decks in here you got it's very olivia themed as you can see there's olivia there olivia there olivia are all here so if your favorite bermuda triangle character is olivia then you're in for a treat but once we open this up oh, it's gonna take a while because it's so big there we go show you the contents of the package now if you did manage to get a hold of one of these, you are very lucky because they are very limited. I'm surprised they did such a limited set. I mean, it's very... there's nothing like game breaking in here, so it's not like you buy this and you win the game, congratulations. But no, it's, it's just a little extra for big fans of Bermuda Triangle. So, as you can see in here, we get a... we get a various amount of things. We get a playmat which has uh, the new mirror on it. I'll show her in a second because... Uh, one second. There we go. Got two pictures, a very large picture and a smaller picture. It's a very nice plane actually. Pretty good condition as well. And you get a little, little bit of writing there. Very nice. In fact, I'm just going to quickly uh, Use that as the unboxing map. You also get a. Oh, what's her name? Mizuku? Mizuku, I think. Does it have a name anywhere? Mikuzu, Mizuku. Yeah, well, you get one of those deck boxes. Oh, wait, Shizuku. Shizuku. And. Well, from the looks of it, it's big enough to have the new. Um, Expanded G deck in it. So that is always nice. Uh, glad they're not still giving us small ones. But yeah, new artwork, old artwork, and summer artwork. Then we also get a booster box as well as 12 promos, uh, three different promos, but four of each. Let me just open this up. So yeah, here's the uh, new mirror, Duo Absolute Sister mirror, and we get the borderless text as well. So she's a stride, uh, act on Vanguard Circle, Soul Blast 1, if you have a heart with mirror in its card name, choose up to one of your rear guards with Duo in its card name, return it to hand, search your deck for up to one mirror card in its name, reveal it to your opponent and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Then choose up to three cards from your hand, reveal them. If the revealed cards all have the same name, choose another, get another Mia from your deck and put it into your hand. So this is good. I believe Mia was a break ride, so you can just keep on break riding, break riding. But another option to use with this is to just keep them in your hand and guarantee strides. So that's really good. You get four of those. But definitely use a, at least one in a Mia deck, because... Maybe more than that, maybe more would be good. So here's the uh, new Shizuku, Dreaming Step Shizuku. She is a grade two. And on the Vanguard Circle and Rear Guard Circle, choose up to th choose a grade three from your hand and discard it. When this card attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, this card gets plus 5,000 power until the end of battle. If this card is in harmony, look at the top five cards of your deck, search it up to one grade three from among them, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand. So she sort of fixes her own cost but it's a bit it's a bit hard to use because you want those grade threes to stride so yeah I'm not sure um, she might be able to find room she can get quite powerful I suppose but here is the new Olivia and she's a grade three I think this is the first time they've taken a stride and turned it into a grade three which is pretty cool so we have cheering at, at Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Etoile? It, something like that. Olivia. 
So during your turn, this unit gets plus five thousand for each face-up card with scored school at well at twelve Olivia in the G zone. So that's pretty good. You could easily get up to plus twenty thousand. And during your turn, when your school school blah 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 at at Olivia sorry stride. Reveal seven cards from the top of your deck. If all cards revealed with this effect have different card names, choose up to two cards from among them. Call them to separate rear guard. Choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. Shuffle your deck. That's pretty cool, actually. It's it's definitely gonna make people build a very odd deck with like ones and twos of everything. That's very odd, but I quite like that. It's nice and gimmicky. Gimmicky is fun. And we also get a booster box, so I will go through this. I will say that I'm not going to properly talk about all the cards, as I have done an unboxing for a booster box before, for this set. Um, but, let me just... Oops. Let me just do this off camera. It's easier to do. So yeah, I have done an unboxing for this booster before, so... You know, I'm just going to do it to see if we get some wedding SPs or a triple R or something. Well, we're definitely going to see triple Rs. Ooh, we get the uh, Loris clan card. It's a very nice picture, I do enjoy it. So, I'll just go quickly go through these, see if we get anything super special. Something like that. But yeah. Just the Ellie. I'm glad Ellie's come back, but with her skill, I'm not sure how many people are going to use her, but I think she's cool. And more Sentinels to help Ellie. I guess that's a good way to, um, I mean, you can put Quintet Walls back into the deck with that, uh, that Quintet Wall, but if you just got loads of, um, Sentinels and at least that would power up Ellie. Ooh, we got Vert. Um, now this is probably one of the best cards in the set, really. So I will go through this. Okay, on the Vanguard Circle, she has Limit Break. Choose a card called Prism Image Sunshine Vert from your G Zone and turn it face up. Choose three cards from your hand and discard them. At the end of the battle, that this unit attacked the Vanguard. If you have a heart card with Prism in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to two of your rear guards with Prism in its card name. Return them to your hand and put this card, put this unit into your G-Zone face up. Choose up to one Grey 3 Prism in its card name and ride it as stand. So you get a second Vanguard attack. And also, I'm just going to leave that here actually. And also, if your Vanguard is Vert, the normal Grey 3 Vert, that's a break ride, so... That's very good. Stupid do nothing overly special. Ooh, Aina, Aina. Ah, uh, the trial deck card of a booster pack. It's a little bit of a shame that no one's really going to use it, but yeah, I guess if you don't have many ideas, you just go whatever the clan's got. Oh yeah, put that in. Stride and a G Guardian. So yeah, it seems with these two, if you don't get them together, then like if you just get this one, and behind that is going to be the trigger, so you won't get her, but you'll get her in the next booster pack. It seems like that anyway. Nice whiz for the double up. I wonder if you can get wedding SPs in these. I hope so. See, there you go. Dead together again. Actually, it seems like this pack was almost identical to the last one we had. Come on, wedding SP. Show us your glory. Oh, did we? 
maybe I've been debunked. I have. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so it just seems likely, okay. Uh, <gasps> just, just cover that up. Yep, it's the GR. I won't go through this again because I did go through the GR in the last unboxing. If you haven't seen that, then go and check it out. I will go through this card in a lot more detail. But right now, I just see that Celebrate Vo Voice Loris, just the normal GR version, not SGR, SP, or WSP. Yes, this card has four rarities for some reason, but it, it's a very nice card. It feels nice because they have the sort of old SP sort of touch. Yeah, it's really good. So that's probably like two of the best cards in the set, really. So I'm very happy with that. Last pack. So coral and reindeer support, not bad. But there you go, that is what comes in the supply set. It is very good. I'm very happy with it. You get the playmat, you get the boost, uh, the, rah, forgotten the tech box, there you go. You get a whole booster box. And also this monstrosity, which is actually really good if you've got loads of decks. Just slop them in here. Apparently, it can hold like. Oops. Um, let's have a look, actually. It can't. That's a bit awkward. It can't really hold that very well. Um, yeah, but with a normal booster box set, a deck box that's sort of more horizontal, it could hold about like 10, maybe? I don't know. It, it looks like it can hold a lot. So, yeah, if you've got a lot of decks, it's perfect, really. But remember that all the cards you've seen are available on bigorbitcards.co.uk. And if you enjoyed this unboxing, uh, remember to like and subscribe. I forgot to mention you also get the 12 PRs, which are all sort of gimmicky, but nice. I like them. Because gimmicky is fun. And clan card. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about the set, the cards, or the business, then feel free to leave a comment. I will try and answer it as best as I can. And with that done, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. See you next time. Bye.